What's up YouTube, Danny, and welcome to another live episode of my Real Madrid career mode series. And that's the obvious question I want to start with. Do you want to see live episodes or do you want to see just post-commentary episodes? I'll get through a couple more games, but live commentary, you always get to see my live reactions. So, in the last episode, if you haven't seen it already, there will be a link in the description below. And by the way, thanks for all the support in the first episode. I asked for 40 likes, I've never done that before, and that we actually got around 45 likes, which is absolutely insane. So I'd like to start the episode by thanking you for that. Maybe we could reach around 30 likes for the second episode. That would just be mental. So we're going to go to the squad now. We've actually sold a couple of players. I've given you enough warning to tell you that I've actually sold a couple of players in the last episode. So we actually sold Higuain. We sold uh, to Barcelona and we sold Benzema to Barcelona, I think, as well. And I also sold Kaká to, I think it's Tottenham. I'll have another check in a minute. But in today's episode, I will be trying to get in a couple of new players because if I do go into transfers... And then I do go into budget allocation. You can see I have 126 million as my transfer budget and I have 520,000 as my wage budget. So I've got a lot of money to spend and that means I can buy around about seven or eight good players for the team. So we're going to go into transfer negotiations. It's been quite a long time since I last played this. But it, sa it says here that I've actually offered 31 million for uh, Jovetic. First time I've ever actually got to use him. So we're going to wait till we can try and get him. But again, thank you for all the support on the first episode. And in the last episode, we actually played the game against Everton. We beat them 2-0 just to get a feel for how the team played. And yeah, tell me if you want to see live episodes. That'd be just insane if you want to see more live episodes. Not really insane, but yeah, tell me in the comment section below. Okay, we've got some great news here. Contract off accepted for Jovetic. This is going to be our first signing there. We're down to 95 million, which is still absolutely amazing. So we're going to put him straight into the team and we're going to go into team management. So I've actually read through the comments and I'm going to actually... Uh, kind of look at the comments and try and relate to that, try and buy some of the plays you've actually said that I should buy. So we're just going to put Jovetic into the team. Just have a quick look at his stats. We're going to get rid of Morata. And some of you said that if you put him on loan, and I think it's two seasons, I think some of you guys said, he will become an 89 rated player. So I'm going to keep hold of him. It depends on how really how long I do this career mode for. So Jovetic has got some great great, strat, uh, great stats, sorry, and four-star skill with four-star weak foot. So we're going to look forward to playing with him. We've got Ozil, Cam, Ronaldo at left, uh, Di Maria on the right. Xavi Alonso, Modric, Marcelo, Ramos, Varane, Arbeloa and Casillas. So the next, per next person I'm probably going to get is a new right back. So in the last episode I did ask for your guys' input on who do you think actually gets my new right back. And we almost have actually signed Cavalio, so I'm actually just going to get him anyway. Maybe go for De Sigilo. Some of you actually said Lama. I was pretty surprised to see that because he's quite old. Actually, he's recently joined the club, so I won't be able to get Cavalio. And can I go for De Sigilio? And a lot of you said to buy him as well. He's got a really good future ahead of him so we're going to offer 7.5 million for him and hopefully they accept that but on the note of just playing the games this season I'm probably going to play against the big teams like Valencia, Seville, play uh, teams like that, Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona sorry and yes I'll look forward to playing those games but the other games if I'm in a strong position I probably won't play those so we're going to go into this sim game up against Liverpool and obviously one of the teams I've actually used in the past didn't really enjoy that career mode but anyway we're going to go into the game, we're going to sim, and we actually draw that game 2 to Ozil with two goals and Downing and Gerrard, the goal scorers for Liverpool. Okay, guys, I've just realised that we are actually really close to our game up against Barcelona, I think it is. So I think we need to make one big signing, if you know what I mean. Someone over 30 million, so I'm just going to make the Siglio an important first team player. And he's only, I think Arbelo was a 78 rated player, and he's not going to be too far behind Arbelo. I'm probably going to use the Siglio more than Arbelo. So we're going to go into transfers. We're going to go into buy players. I think I'll go for Rob Enley. I'm really liking the look of his stats. And only 14 million, which is an absolute bargain. So we're going to submit search. We are done to 95 million and 420 remaining wage budget. So tell me in the comment section below. I've still got time after after today's episode, just basing on how long I do get into to, into today's episode. Could go for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, let's have a look down here. So Philip Lam, some of you guys said to get him. I might as well get him. I don't know, but he's definitely the best right back on this game. So we're going to offer him around about not 20 million, but I did actually use him in my Bayern Munich Super League, obviously, as he does play for Bayern Munich. He was really good in that career mode, but I did end up using him on the left and then putting Ramos on the right, if you remember back to those old days in like December 2012. So we're going to have a look down. Maybe I could go for Aguero, Cavani. I'm looking at a new striker still. I don't think uh, Jovetic will do enough on his own. Maybe go for two, two strikers and then have Ronaldo maybe behind them. So we're going to have a look down here. We've got Hugo Lloris as well. Don't really need a new goalkeeper. Marriott Kamsik, I never actually used him on Karima, did an absolute dog on Ultimate Team. I just really hate using him on Ultimate Team, really don't enjoy using him. So any other players we could get, Arturo Vidal, uh, Busquets, he's actually got really good potential on this game. Jesus Navas actually gone to Man City, so we can't be able to get him. Uh, Mario Gotz, has he gone to Bayern Munich? No, he hasn't yet. 
Uh, who else can we get? Who else can we get? Sorry. Leave your comment in the comment section below. I'm kind of stuck on who to buy because this Real Madrid team is still really good, and I'm just trying to avoid players I've actually already bought on this game, and that's quite a lot of the players. I think we'll go for Kevin's Prince Boateng and really enjoy using him. And we're going to offer 15 million for him, maybe 16 million less than the offer. But that's the main question again: who should I buy? And hopefully, I'll have around maybe 60 million for the next episode. So leave your comment in the comment section below. So again, thanks to all the support on the first episode. There's a lot of comments. Maybe we should get Isco because he has actually moved to Real Madrid. So we'll go and get Isco as well. We're going to offer 17, 18 and a half million for him. Just seems a bit realistic. So I actually like the look of his stats as well. Never again actually used him on Ultimate Team. So someone new. And he's got four-star skill moves as well, so going to look forward to getting him. Hulk, we could get him. We're just going to offer him. Just offer him for a number of players and see if they do accept. No, he's recently joined the club. Damn it, that's not the best news I wanted to hear. So, Negredo got good, really bad pace. But apart from that, some really good shots. A really good shot, really good agility and that kind of thing. Matinho, we could go for Alexis Sanchez. There's so many players. But I'll just have a look through these players and I'll come back with what I, th with what I find. Okay, so I've been looking through this and I found someone that's actually on my shortlist previously. It's going to be Gundogan. I've used him in a couple of career modes, obviously, with my Dortmund career mode a couple of months ago. So we're going to actually make an offer for him. 21 million for him. And I think he's just a really good player, really good quality player. Do you think you'll stay at Borussia Dortmund in the summer? Leave your comment in the comment section. Do you think you'll go to Bayern Munich, Man United, that kind of team? And tell me what you want to see for the next potential team. And hopefully my trading team this season. There was an episode yesterday. It'll probably be another episode, maybe Saturday or Sunday. So we're going to go into this game up against Hoffenheim, I think, is we have got a game, I think, in five days' time against Barcelona. We're just definitely going to play that. And I think they have got Higuain, definitely Higuain, but I don't know about Benzema. I think that's just a bit of a guess, but I don't know where he's gone. 2-0, Ronaldo with the only two goals. He was the only scorer of that game. Jovic got a yellow card, and so did Modric, and so did Marcelo. So we're going to go into this game up against Barcelona, and my, I'm really worried about my squad uh, depth, you could say. I haven't got many players for the team, so... Contract I've accepted for De Sigulo. That's good news. We've got another player. And I think we've got two other messages. Unacceptable for Philip Lund. They want 19 million. That's a bit too much. We'll go for 16 and a half million and submit the offer. Actually, there's one player I do actually want to buy. So I'm just going to submit these two. There's one player I do have in mind. So Isco, 25 million. Jeez, that's a bit over. Uh, 21 and a half million. I'm, I'm being a bit tight there. But I don't want to waste all my money like I did in my PSG. And there's just one player I have in mind. Just going to back out of all this. Transfers by players. I haven't actually got a keyboard, so I can't actually do this or whatever you like to call it. So it, the name is Suzoko. It's not the one who plays for Fiorentina. It's the one that plays for Newcastle. really enjoy using him. And yeah, tell me if you want to see more longer episodes. Do you want to see like 10 minute episodes or like two? Uh, so this is the schedule. So I want to do maybe two episodes this a week. Do you want to see maybe three episodes, but a bit shorter every episode, like 10 minutes? Just going to make an offer for Musa Suzoko. Just a really good squad rotational player. We're going to offer 6.5 million, I think. Let's put it up to 6.5 million. And tell me if you are enjoying the series. It just shows that those 45 likes, whatever, in the first episode, I'm just so thankful for that. In like the first even 10 minutes, there was like at least 10 likes, which is just amazing. I've never seen that on any of my videos previously. But yeah, so just talking about the q and I was talking about in the last video, which was my trading to team the season, Di Natale. I was talking about doing a possible Q&A for 700 subs, but in the time I will actually get uh, gather questions for the 750 subs mark if I can ever reach that, hopefully. And hopefully reach that by the end of the month or something, I don't know. But let's see how this channel does and if you do enjoy the series. So Gundawan or Gundagan, it looks like a possible signing because I do enjoy using him. Just being a bit tight there, I should have maybe offered the 26.5 million. So we're going to move on to our game up against Barcelona. Okay, so AC Man won 19 million for Kevin Sprint's Boateng. I think I'm happy to pay that. It's either Gundogan or Boateng. I don't know who to go for. Should I go for Boateng? I just really like the look of his stats. But Gundogan, someone I haven't really used as much. Obviously, I used Boateng a lot in my uh, career mode previously with AC Milan. Remember that series? Just really enjoyed using that series. And at one point, I was actually thinking of returning to that series. You can see some of the other career modes I've actually attempted to do. You could see Juventus at the bottom. So we're going to go into our first game of this episode. Hopefully, we can fit in maybe three to four games in this episode. It's the first leg up against Barcelona. So for this game... As you can see at the top, it says legendary. Just going to show you the sliders quickly. If I can go into sliders, as you can see here, there's just a couple of people just saying you're using sliders. Definitely in my Bayern Munich Super League. I had to deal with a lot of people saying, oh, you're using sliders, it's too easy. But I'm still on legendary. It's just then I used to really like to play career, and now I just don't really play it as much. More into Ultimate Team as I should be. So we're going to actually rest a couple of players. We're going to use Kadira instead of Chabi Alonso. We're saving for the second leg. 
And we're going to use Fabio Contral instead of Marcelo. Still got really good left back options. And also, let's have a look down Callahan. You can be saved to the next leg. And we're going to have him in the. Not Callahan, but. We're going to say Di Maria to the next leg and we're going to move on to this game up against Barcelona. And tell me again, a lot of questions in today's episode is do you want to see more highlights or do you, do you just want to see the goal? So leave that in the comment section below. You're just going to see me advance. So let's move on to the goal highlights. So guys, so we're going into the first game of today's episode. It's a game up against Barcelona. So it's going to be at the Santiago Bernabeu. Hopefully we can win this game. I'm guessing it'll probably be a draw maybe, but Barcelona aren't the strongest team on this game. And do like to play their young defenders, the likes of Bartra and Montoya. And as you can see, the first time I ever got to use Jovetic, which is going to be really good to use him. It looks like he's got some great stats. A lot of you said that you do enjoy using him and you want me to get him. So as you can see, we've actually got Jovetic and yeah, as you can see, just shaking hands. So we're going to go into the match highlights and hopefully you enjoy the first game of this episode. All right, Sergio Ramos makes a bad mistake there. Messi's throwing goal. And a great block there. But is he going to finish it? Yes, he does. Don't know what Sergio Ramos was doing there. Messi makes it 1-0 in the 16th minute. And really disappointed with that. But this isn't too bad if we actually lose this game. For one, we've still got the second leg. And it's two, it's not like the Champions League final or something. So Messi makes it 1-0 to Barcelona. It's still not defending too well. But I think that's just beca just the case. I've been playing on the team. And the gameplay styles are a lot different. They've got another chance here. Contral. Let's get cross in. Contral's going to get to that. They're still really good at the back. That's Sergio Ramos' lucky tackle, I'm going to admit that. Ronaldo. Okay, so we're at half-time now, and it's been a good half, but I think Ronaldo needs to get into the game a bit more. A lot of chances. don't know if I'll show all the highlights, but it's been a really entertaining first half. So I think we're going to swap to the 4-2-3-1. Look at that. Shall I go for that? A 1-5-4. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for that later on in the game if I'm losing badly. So 4-3-2-1 is going to be the formation for the second half, and... Ronaldo's going to play on the left, Ozil is going to go into centre mid, Callahan on the right and I think that's how we're going to go into the second half. So hopefully we can pull this back and then take a good advantage to the new Camp. Jovetic with the left foot and it's hit the post and it's not gone in. How is this not 1-1 yet? And another chance there, Jovetic just said show me what you got and he did actually show some good skills, some good strength as well and he actually hit the post. So I know he's got a good shot but just needs to get into the right position. So 60 minutes in. And a risky uh, pass there from Valdez. But we're still 1-0 down, which is still disappointing. But if I do continue like this and I do go go to the new camp with a 1-0 loss, I think I will be able to pull it back because this Barcelona team isn't as good as it is in real life. So let's just try and get this throwing to one of our players, Modric. Let's try and find a run. Not enough runs being made. Callahan. Okay, Jovetic. Link up. PK's not the quickest. Modric. Oh, why didn't Jovetic just carry on doing that? And or carry on running, he just gave it to Modric. Okay, give it, oh, come on, Callahan. This is quite tense. I need to get something. Jovetic from the near post, and he finally gets the goal 1 1, 68th minute goal there. Jovetic finally with the goal, so we're going to see this again. Modric threw the ball into Jovetic. Always had that idea to just turn the defender and then go and put it into the goal. So I know Puyol isn't the quickest, he's a weakness in the back four. Obviously, Albert, Alves, and PK all strong, so needed to find a weakness in Puyol. And yeah, so that's something I need to take on board to the next game as well. So 1-1 one, one, and hopefully we can not concede, which is probably going to happen. Where's my defence? Good performance there from Callahan. Let's try and get a break on here. And Modric on the run. Give it to Jovetic. Oh, good tackle there from Alba. OK, they've got another chance here. Alves, go away. Yes, Varane's got, got the best interceptions I've ever seen. But look at Jovetic's space. Go on, Jovetic. He's, he hasn't got enough pace, but he does beat Alba. Can he finish it? Oh, what a great finish there. 76 the minute. Didn't actually think he's finished that, but I've never seen a finish like that. So he keeps Alba there and some great strength. And then Puyol couldn't get to it. Obviously, he's slow as hell. So we actually make it 2-1. Great goal there from Jovetic. And we are now 2-1 up, up against Barcelona. So we've gone from 1-0 down in a couple of minutes. We've gone to 2-1 up. So great performance in the second half. I was just saying uh, Varane's uh, interceptions we're going to concede here. Uh, yes, yeah, so Varane's interceptions. What is that? What is going on? Okay, yeah, Varane's interceptions for the third time. Yeah, his interceptions is just crazy. He just doesn't miss anything. His tackling isn't good as Sergio Ramos, but he's still got some great interceptions and that kind of thing. So he's more the defender that doesn't get too stuck in, but he still makes the good tackles, if you know what I mean. So good tackle there from Dani Alves talking to tackle him. Is that going to be full-time? Yes, it is. So we've won the game 2-1. Jovetic with two goals, a really good performance. I don't know what you guys have been talking about, but him being fantastic. So... 
I regret never actually getting in, but finally I have had the chance to get him. So Jovetic, a great debut in terms of me actually using him. So let's hope that we can make some more transfers before the second leg. OK, guys, so that's going to be it for today. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And if we can reach maybe 10 likes pretty quickly in the next hour or two, I will upload part three of this whole thing. So that'll be the second part to the Super Copper or whatever it's called, the basically the Community Shield in the Spanish League. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and thanks for watching. And I'll see you hopefully in part three later on today.